Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm a student in the Quantitative Psychology Master's Program at James Madison University. I chose to study Quantitative Psychology for a lot of reasons. One was that I really enjoyed integrating the fields of psychology and statistics and I liked solving analytical real-world problems. Another reason I chose to study Quantitative Psychology is that I wanted a degree that gave me a lot of flexibility. Um, as an undergraduate, I wasn't sure what my career trajectory would be, and I wanted to make sure I picked an advanced degree that would open a lot of doors for me and give me a lot of flexibility. And thankfully, the Master's in Quantitative Psychology has really done that, and it's given me a lot of diverse skills that I can apply to a lot of different fields. My coursework in Quantitative Psychology has been very applied and very valuable for both my academic and professional pursuits. Now, if you're interested in pursuing a degree in quantitative psychology, you should expect to take several statistics courses in both univariate and multivariate statistics. You should also expect to take at least one measurement theory course and potentially a research methods or research design course. You'll also have to take a few content area courses in psychology. So this might include cognitive psychology, neuropsychology, behavioral psychology, among others. If you're lucky, you might have the opportunity to take some advanced statistical courses as well. These might include courses like structural equation modeling, hierarchical linear modeling, item response theory, among others. Another important aspect of my study in quantitative psychology has been an emphasis on written and oral communication. So we get a lot of training in how to explain and describe these research designs and statistical analyses to our colleagues from different disciplines and to laypersons or people that work in business and other industries. If you're at all like I was as an undergraduate student, you might not know exactly what field you want to go into. And to be honest, I'm still interested in a lot of different fields like psychology, sociology, and a few other sciences. But to me, that's why the quantitative psychology degree is so valuable because it is valued and appreciated across many different fields. If you're interested in learning more about quantitative psychology, I highly recommend checking out the APA website devoted to quantitative psychology. It's actually one of the first resources that a professor directed me towards when I had some questions about the field. And it's really easy to use and navigate and has a lot of really valuable information. I also recommend checking out an article by Pacman, Camara, and Huff. It really breaks down the field of quantitative psychology and lists every possible job you could have and even the specifics of what people do in those positions, how much money they make, and kind of an outlook of how the field is currently and how it's a growing field. So I definitely recommend checking out that article. Also, I recommend taking every statistics class you can. And even if that means going outside of your psychology department or going outside of your home department, because even if you don't decide to choose this field, those skills that you learn in those classes are going to be really valued by employers and they're going to help you in your future pursuits. I also recommend getting involved with research, so whether it's on a research team or independent research or maybe a researcher conducting for a thesis. Again, even if you don't choose this field, it's going to be extremely helpful to you in your future pursuits. And if you do decide to apply to a quantitative psychology master's program, that's the kind of experience that the application committees are going to want to see on your resume. Lastly, I strongly encourage you to present your research and practice your presentation skills as frequently as you can. So maybe it's at an on-campus research symposium or a conference. Just get as much practice as you can presenting your research and talking about the things that interest you. The hardest part for me for pursuing a degree in quantitative psychology has definitely been the transition from undergraduate to master's level studies. When you're getting your master's, especially in quantitative psychology, your professors really expect a different level of work from you, and the amount of responsibility you're given drastically increases compared to most undergraduate experiences. Another big difference that I think can sometimes become a struggle or a hurdle is that in this master's program, you're really treated as a colleague, especially on research teams. You know, you're given leadership roles, and you are treated as a colleague and you have to respond as such and really be responsible and get your work done on time. That being said, I think this is a great thing about this program and it really does prepare you for the real world and how things will be when you have a job. I have a lot of favorite things about being in the Quantitative Psychology Master's program. 
one of those things is that I really enjoy working with people that have similar interests to me. It's really refreshing to work with people who are interested in studying and doing the same kinds of research that you're doing. Another thing that I like about being in this master's program is that everyone I work with is very driven and hardworking and like myself, they enjoy solving complicated, real world, sometimes messy problems. And again, that really inspires me and helps me work harder, so I appreciate that. Another thing that I really like about being in this master's program is that colleagues from around campus really rely on us for helping them conduct their research. I think it's really important work and it helps you see the value and take a lot of pride in the work that you do because people will seek you out for your expertise and to help them do the work that they're passionate about. So you kind of get to feed off of and become involved and integral in other people's passions. And I think that not all, not all graduate studies can offer that. So I think that's something really unique to graduate, um, really unique to quantitative psychology and something that I really appreciate about this master's program. Before starting this master's program in quantitative psychology, one thing that I wish someone would have encouraged me to do was be more open and flexible in terms of being open to new experiences and growing, um, being open to feedback, and being open to just trying new things. There's a lot of growth that happens in those two or three years that you get your master's, and you have to be open and ready for that, and you have to be ready for the difference between master's level work and undergraduate work. And if you're not open and flexible and willing to try new things, you could miss out on a lot of opportunities for learning and growth. So I would just say jump in with both feet and be open to trying new things, pursuing new lines of research, receiving feedback, and make sure you're growing throughout those two years.